So you're studying for the ASVAB? Fantastic. I got 16 questions with answers from the arithmetic reasoning portion of the test. So go ahead and watch. I would suggest if you're studying right now, go ahead and pause the video on each question, try it on your own, and then listen to the answer after that. Best of luck to you, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Family Video stocks 1,003 drama movies and 253 children's movies. Why did I skip 518 for the science fiction? Because we don't need it. It says how many more drama titles are there than children's titles. So that means we just need to do the 1,003 minus the 253. Don't forget, you don't have a calculator here, so it has to be done by hand. Threes will end up canceling out to give us zero. And 100 minus 25 is 75. Meaning our answer here is A. Mr. Vlastic is buying two pens for each of the 17 students in his class. That's a total of 34 pens when you do 17 times 2. Now, he can buy them pens in a pack of 6, but 34 is not evenly divisible by 6. And if we only bought five of those packs, that would be 6 times 5, which is 30 pens. So we have to buy at least six packs to cover everyone. So if we're buying six packs at $2.35 a pop, we just need to multiply those two together, which would give Give us 1410, which is option B. Brandon earns $1,050 a week and Brad earns $160 per day. Who makes more per hour and by how much? So let's start off with Brad. He's a little bit easier. He's working eight hours a day at $160 per day. So if I do that 160 divided by eight, that tells us that he makes $20 per hour. Now, Brandon, first off, we need his total number of hours in a week. Well, eight times five gives me 40 hours in a week. So for him, we have to do his total pay of $1,050 divided by that 40 hours a week. When you do that, it ends up giving you $26.25. Now, $26.25 is $6.25 higher than the other guy, which means Brandon is our winner in answer B. ASVAB tossing out its first bomb. Here we go. Matthew's dad is five times as old as him, but the difference of their ages is 28. How old is Matthew? Well, here's the deal. Matthew's age, we'll just say M for Matthew. His dad's age is five times that amount. And the difference between the two, so subtracting them, is 28. Here's the deal. It's just combining like terms. Easy solving here. 5M minus M is 4M equals 28. Divide both sides by 4, and we get M is equal to 7, which is option D. So for question number five on the ASVAB, it says that Donna filled three over 20 of the 500 envelopes and Megan filled one fourth of them. So how many have they filled in total together? Well, 500 divided by 20 is 25 and there's three of those. So that's a total of 75 envelopes for Donna. Megan, on the other hand, did one fourth of them. So 500 divided by four is 125, which would be the total amount that Megan did. So 75 plus 125 is going to be 200 even, which is option C. So number six is asking how many 7 8 square meter plots can you get out of a 210 square meter area? So that means essentially we're just doing 210 divided by 7 over 8 to see how many you can split into. Well, dividing by a fraction is the same thing by multiplying by the reciprocal, which just means flipping it upside down. So really we just need to do 210 times 8 over 7. Now if I do multiply out, 8 times 210 is going to give me 6 and then we have to divide that by 7. Now 7 goes into 16 two times with 2 left over. Then 7 goes into 28 four times and we still got that 0. So final answer, A, 240. Number seven on the ASVAB is asking for the difference between first graders and third graders. And here's the deal. 30% of the school children out of the 300 are first graders. So 0 0.30 times 300 Four is going to give us 90. Then we need to find out the leftover. So here's the deal. First there, second graders there, the rest are third graders. 45 plus 30 is 75%, meaning the leftover is 25%. So the same thing of doing 0.25 times 300 would be just like doing 300 divided by 4. And in that case, we are going to end up getting 75. Now 90 minus 75 is 15, so our answer here is B. Number eight on the ASVAB is asking for a final cost here. So we have a $155 dress. It's on sale for 25% 
off. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can either do the 155 times 0.25 and then subtract that answer from the 155, or you can recognize that if it's 25% off, then you're only paying for 75% of the original cost. And if you end up doing 0.75 times 155, you should get 116 and 25 cents, meaning our answer is B. Hey, you're officially halfway. So help me out as a content creator and hit that like button below. And if you want to keep getting ASVAB related content, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. With that said, let's dive right back in. We have to find the ratio between Marlo and Bia. Now, Marlo pays seven fifty, and Bia does twelve percent higher than that. Well, you could either take point one two, multiply it by seven fifty, and add it back to it, or you could do seven fifty times one hundred and twelve percent, which would be one point one two. When you multiply that out, you get. 840. Now, if that's the case, we can drop the zeros by dividing both by 10, and we have a ratio of 75 to 84. That can actually be cut down a bit further by dividing both of those by 3. If you divide them by 3, you get 25 over 28. So the ratio here is 25 to 28, which is answer C. If a cake recipe calls for five cups of flour to make two cakes, how many would you need to make seven cakes? So there's lots of different ways to do this. What I'm going to do is say this. To get from two to six, you're multiplying by three. So I'll do this five three times. So five times three is 15. Now, what about that extra one? Well, that's for two cakes. So one would be half of that. And half of five is 2.5. So 15 plus the 2.5 gives me 17.5, which is answer C. So the ratio of a model car to a real car is 1 to 24. The real car is 12 feet long, so how large is the model? Well, there is like the long mathematical way of doing this where you would say like, all right, well, what's 12 divided by 24 and go about that way? But here's the easiest. 24, 12, 12 is just half of that. So what's half of the 1? Well, 1 half is half of 1. So if I'm looking from feet, what is half a foot? Well, since a foot is 12 inches, half of that would be 6 inches. It says on the throw of a six-sided die, what's the probability that you will roll a number less than three? Well, here's all the numbers on a six-sided die. There are six options. So out of the six options, how many of them are less than three? Well, one is less than three, and two is less than three. Three is equal to it, so that one doesn't count. That means two out of six is our answer. But if we divide both the top and bottom by two to reduce, that's going to give us one over three, which means our answer is C. Number 13 on the ASVAB says that there are six marbles and four white marbles. So that means that there's a total of 10 marbles here. Now, it says that they take out one black marble. So out of the 10 marbles, there are now only nine marbles left. And instead of having six black marbles, there's only going to be five. They say, what's the probability that the next marble she picks will be black? Well, if there's only five black ones left since we took one out, that answer should be five over nine, also known as answer D. Number 14 on the ASVAB says mangoes are sold for $8.40 a dozen. How many will 15 cost? Now, remember, there's no calculator here. So if you have a hard time doing 8.40 divided by 12, instead, just think of it as 84 divided by 12. If you do it that way, because that's how many is in a dozen, 12, that's going to give us 7. Now, I do need to move that decimal place over 1 because you had a decimal over 1 here. So that's actually going to be 0.7 for our question. Now that we know it's 0.7, and I have 15 of them, that's 0.7 per mango, so 15 times that 0.7 is going to give me 10.5, which is going to be answer D. Number 15 on the ASVAB says that Rosita is buying 300 feet of yarn, and it's going to be 12 cents per yard. Well, the first thing to know here is that 3 feet is equal to 1 yard, so that means that 300 feet would be 100 yards. Now from there, it's 12 cents, so that would be 0.12 in terms of money, per yard. So if I have a 100 of those yards at 12 cents a piece, I can multiply those together. When you're multiplying by a 100, you can just move the decimal over twice. It's like 1%. So that means this should be a total of $12. Answer D. Number 16 on the ASVAB is asking you to find the average of these five numbers right here. So remember to find average, you just add them all up and divide by how many there are. So in this case, we've got to add all of these. I'm going to do this quickly in my head by saying that the 8 can be split into a 5 and a 3. I'm going to do that because 17 plus the 3 is going to give me a 20, and 15 plus that 5 is going to give me 
20 as well. And then the 14 plus the 6 is another 20. So 20, 20, and 20 gives me a total of 60. Now I got to divide that by the 5, which is going to give me 12 for our final answer. Hey guys, go ahead and leave a comment below telling me what score you're aiming for on the ASVAB. With that said, you did hit all 16 questions here today, so fantastic. Remember, if you want to keep practicing, you can either subscribe to my channel or check out one of these other two videos over here. Good luck!